Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Mess Hall Digs. It's your boy, Mess Hall. First and foremost, I just want to thank all, all the people that stop by and take time out of their day to watch your boy run his mouth. I try my best to try to keep keep things upbeat, you know, use humor in a way that, that I always have throughout my whole life to just try to get through tough situations, uh, maybe give you a laugh or two while you're watching. Just put a smile on your face. That's my goal always. Uh, it's just a mentality that I've always had. Just try to find light in any situation that I can. Um, for 2022, just want to put out, you know, a positive reminder that, that things are going to be okay. Continue to work hard. Continue to push. Don't let negative things bring you down because I know I see a lot of it. If, if, you're, if you're on Instagram a lot, you know your boy's on Instagram. Mess Hall Digs on Instagram. Plug. But you, you see people posting things, their big stacks that they're they're shipping out, the big amounts of money they're making. I made more money than I ever have last year. Well, well maybe that's not you. That's not me. Um, and sometimes you might let it sink in your mind. Like, why, why is it happening to me? Why are slow sales happening to me? How come I started a YouTube channel and no one's watching? Like, these thoughts have crept into my mind before, but then I, I realized... Well, what's so special about me? We're not we're not special. Why why do we deserve it? You know what I mean? No one's no one's special like that. The only thing that can change things around is just working harder. Work harder, put more time into it because over my life and you know I was in the military and I've seen it happen, people will get promoted before me. They'll be put in positions of power ahead of me. They'll be making decisions that I should be making. I had, I had to stop letting that kind of stuff bother me. All I could do was just put my head down and continue to work and study and work on my professional development because I knew at some point that would be me. And it came a time where they put me in charge. I had 120 employees. I had nine civilian employees. I had all these soldiers, everyone looking at me now. I was the top, top looking at me saying, what do we do now? And, and I had to have the answers. I had to be ready for that. And thankfully, because I kept working hard, I was ready. And we were successful as we could be when I was in charge of that situation. So it will happen. Continue to work hard. No one owes you anything. You're not special. You don't, you don't get special treatment. Don't look for a shortcut. Don't, don't just watch people on Instagram and YouTube having all this success, just be happy for them, be happy for their success, support them, support the community, continue to do what you do. As long as you're doing what you love, it shouldn't be a problem to just put in a little bit extra work and your time will come. The success will come. I'm still grinding hard, grinding hard every day because I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I've had a few little successes. I've made some money, but it's just not, I'm not sitting back letting things that don't go right affect me. Failure is the path to success. I still fail all the time. I still make bad decisions all the time. I still buy things I shouldn't buy. And I constantly write it down and try to learn from it and do the research, see what's working, see see what's not working, and try my best to just erase the things that aren't working out of my business model, out of my life. Try to get rid of negativity, negative thoughts, I don't let things bother me. If people are, are having more success than I am and they're doing the exact same thing I'm doing, well, I try to figure out what they might be doing different than I am. How do they get to where they are? I ask a lot of questions. I reach out to people. I network a lot. I, I, I ask all the questions to try to make myself better and try to understand where I'm falling short because obviously I'm falling short somewhere. It's not that I'm putting in all the work and, and no success is happening. Because I have found the, the more work I put into it, the harder I work, the more time I, I put into something, it usually ends up being more successful that way. So it all comes down to the work, paying attention, making adjustments, don't fall into traps, don't try to find shortcuts, don't try to find the easy way. You just have to work hard at it. And you have to make sure that you're paying attention to what is not working and fix it. If something's happening, you don't understand why, reach out. There's a huge reselling community out here on YouTube and Instagram. Just reach out and ask questions. That's what I do. I consider myself kind of a, 
borderline reseller. Not the best, but I'm not a beginner. Somewhere in the middle. Um, you know, reach out to me. And if I can't, if I don't have the answer, I know a lot of people that will have that answer for you. So that's the thing. Go on these live shows, go on resellers channels and just sit and take notes. Like I did tonight. I was watching that show. I just took some notes. Oh, well, I didn't even think about that before. And I write it down and I'm going to try to implement that into the next thing I do and see how it works. If it's not working, then I know to get rid of it. But I'm going to continue to work hard and try to find out what I'm doing wrong, why I'm not getting the results that I want. Not going to feel sorry for myself. Not going to pull the woe is me. Not going to not gonna say, why is this happening to me? Because why not me? Why not just let it happen to me? Of course, people are going to take off faster than you. They're going to learn more than you. They're going to work harder than you. So as long as you understand that, the behind the scenes is what you're not seeing online. You're not seeing that on Instagram. The behind the scenes, all the work they're putting in, how much money they're spending. You know, how huge their inventories are, the connections that they have that you don't have, the place that they live in, they might be able to, to source more than you are. These are the kind of things that you have to take in consideration, and then you have to find something that you can do that will work better for you. Continue to grind, continue to work. Don't lose focus. It's going to be okay. Hard work is the answer to all questions.